Zip Tie Domes presents How to Use a Geodesic Dome Calculator Part 4 The Dome Construction Diagram Go to our website at www.ziptiedomes.com Each dome calculator has a dome construction diagram. To see this diagram, select the 6 frequency dome calculator from the drop down list on the navigation bar. Click the Construction Diagram link. The 6 frequency dome has 9 different strut lengths, so this dome is very complicated to build. Just below the construction diagram is the tessellation diagram, which is how the 6 frequency dome is broken up into smaller triangles from the original face of the icosahedron. There is a recognizable pattern for the 6 frequency dome, but it is still very complicated. Scroll back up and click the Dome Calculator link to go to the top of the page. Scroll up and select the 2 frequency dome from the drop down list. Click the Construction Diagram link. You can see how this dome is very simple to build and is perfect for the first time dome builder. Scroll down to the Tessellation Diagram. The Tessellation Diagram shows that there is an easy pattern to follow during construction. For the two frequency and three frequency domes, we have a complete step by step set of instructions on how to build these domes in both a, fit, a video format and also in a PDF format that is printed and included with every dome kit. But to build the higher frequency domes, you will be dependent on using just these construction diagrams, which we have on every dome calculator. There are no other instructions on the internet for building these domes other than these diagrams. To get a quick visual overview of our calculators, click on the Dome Calculator link to go back to the top of the page. Then click on the Dome Calculators Index tab in the navigation bar. This page will bring up a visual icon to represent each dome frequency and the type of dome. The first section has icons that link to the calculators that are derived from the icosahedron. The second section links to our octahedron dome calculators and our alternative dome structures such as a silo dome calculator. Notice that we have a 3 frequency 3 8 dome and a 3 frequency 5 8 dome. Let's explain the difference between the 3 8 and the 5 8 dome. Here is an example of a 25 foot 3 frequency 5 8 dome. This dome will be over 14 feet tall. Using a 3 frequency dome with the same dome diameter, but as a 3 8 dome instead of a 5 8 dome, the dome will have the same floor space, but only be 10 feet tall. For the 3 frequency dome and the other odd number domes, the true equator of the dome passes through the middle of a vertical section of struts. Since the dome cannot sit on the true dome equator without cutting all these struts in half, the 3 frequency dome has to either be a 3 8 dome or a 5 8 dome. So, if you remove this vertical section from the 3 frequency 5 8 dome, it becomes a 3 8 dome. The only difference between the 3 8 and the 5 8 domes is this vertical section of struts. The same is true for the 5 frequency dome. It also has a vertical section of struts that contains the dome equator and so it can be built as either a 7 15 or an 8 15 dome. If you would like to learn more about dome frequency and the difference between the icosahedron and octahedron domes, there is a link in the comments section to our video on geodesic dome frequency. In our next video, we will show how to calculate the size of the dome panel or coverings needed for a geodesic dome. Thanks for watching our video. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.